Hey guys, I am going to show you how I made my spinach and kale together with some salmon and shrimp. Watch the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making some spinach and kale vegetable. All right, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, Meet the Meat Mom. So I'm starting with, I'm gonna be using olive oil today and you wanna make sure everything you cook, you're cooking on a low heat. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I already have my onion all diced up. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my onions in here, and then you wanna go ahead and stir it. Make sure you are cooking on low heat. And I'm going to be using some organic spinach and organic kale and that's a source of vitamin A all right we all need vitamin A is very good for you all right. so you're just gonna let this cook for about 30 seconds your onions and I love cooking with a lot of onions so today I am using sweet onions all right I'm using sweet onions All right, after 30 seconds, what I'm going to do, I'm going the next thing I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my red and orange bell pepper. I already have it all diced up, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here. So I'm using about one small size of bell pepper, the red ones and the orange. I'm gonna go ahead and pour everything in here. Okay, now you want to go ahead and mix everything up and you also let this cook for about a minute or two, you want to let it cook. And whenever I cook my vegetables, I always like to use a lot of bell pepper just so that it gives it that color. That color in my face. While this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and put some seasoning that I'm going to be using. I'm gonna use a little bit of turmeric. I'm gonna use some, I'm gonna put about half teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna put about half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and put half a teaspoon of black pepper, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and mix all that together. And feel free to cook this at home, feel free. All you need is spinach and kale all mixed together. I'm gonna go ahead and put some scallions, all right? I have it all diced up. This is all ready to eat just like that. It's just missing the spinach and kale. Just let it cook, all right? And you wanna make sure you're cooking on a very medium heat. Not too low, not too high, but a medium heat. As you can see, my onions look like it's very well cooked. Now, because I'm using spinach and kale, I'm gonna start with the kale first. Let the cake kale cook for about a minute or two before I put my spinach. So I don't like my vegetable to be too soggy. All right, so this is my kale, it's all washed and you wanna make sure you wash your vegetable. So I always wash my kale with warm water. I steam the water and then I just let the kale sit in warm water for like about three to five minutes. All right, so this is my kale. I let the kale cook for about a minute or two. And after that, I go ahead and put my spinach. And this smells good already. This looks good, this looks good. 
and all this I'm still cooking on low heat. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button while you're watching this video. And while the tail is cooking, I'm gonna put a little bit of chicken broth. All right, I'm gonna be using some chicken broth, so I then just sprinkle a little bit of chicken broth on your tail. You don't wanna put too much, all right? You let it cook for about a minute. All right, after you let it cook for about a minute or two, I'm gonna go ahead and put my spinach. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and just mix everything all together. All right, so right in here, I have spinach, kale, I have some sweet onions, uh, red and orange bell pepper. And I have some seasoning, I only put black pepper. Half teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of salt. I have a teaspoon of chicken bouillon and a little bit of turmeric. And all this is cooked with olive oil, all right? I love olive oil, avocado oil, so you can actually use that a lot. And just a little bit of chicken broth, all right? So now that all this is all mixed together, I'm gonna go ahead and color it up and just gonna let it cook for about five to seven minutes, all right? And after that, we should all be ready and set. We'll be right back. Don't forget to like and subscribe in the meantime. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. So we ha I have this vegetable cooking for about five minutes. It's about five minutes now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. It's all ready. As you can see, this vegetable is all ready to cook. Spinach, kale, with some bell pepper, all right? And I'm going to be eating my vegetable today with, I made some steak salmon with some shrimp. So I'm gonna show you it's ready to go. So my steak salmon, I seasoned it with some Cajun seasoning and some paprika and a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt. And I let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and I later put it in the oven and bake it in about in 350 degree Fahrenheit for another 10 to 15 minutes. As you can see, voila, it's ready to eat. So I'm, tonight I'm going to be having some vegetables, spinach and kale with some salmon and shrimp. Bon appetit. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and subscribe down the button below. Thank you for watching.